Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Um, I'm Tim with FaucetPartsPlus.com and today I'm going to be discussing on how to identify your stem based on how we have our site laid out. Um, easiest way to identify it um, to help you get the right product that way you don't have to return it. First off, um, on our main page um, we have it pretty much set up to where you can identify your stem by length and or spline count. Uh, both of those are, are really, really important. Um, the amount of splines uh, will determine um, which stem manufacturer you actually have. And the other thing is your um, your length. You definitely have to have the proper size cartridge. Now I'll go over the best way to identify your cartridge um, is by spline count. Um, so what we'll do is 99% of the people can't really figure out how many splines they have. They can count them, but um, they're really, really hard to do. Uh, the best way to do that is to take a black magic marker or whatever color you have and actually take a spline and rub your magic marker on the end of one of these splines, just like that right there. Get it to focus in on there. There's a little black line on there. And then I take my thumbnail and I, um, I start out, we'll say that that one is number one, and then we'll go to number two, number three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, and then we're back to the black line again right there, which is the 17. But we actually have a 16 spline stem, so that's the easy way to find that, um, 16 spline. The next thing is top to bottom length measurement. Um, a lot of people will measure from this gasket here on the bottom. The gasket is not that important on the measurement. Um, what we do is we go by the, the metal edge so go from metal top to metal top, right there. That one actually measures out just a little over two inches. It's like two point, um, two point seven. We'll call it two point zero seven. So we would consider this a two inch tall stem. Um, by manufacturing. Um, that there's not really that close on tolerances, believe it or not. Um, most of the time, this little rubber gasket down here will make up quite a bit of a difference on there. You can see it just squishes in pretty easily. So it makes it to where you can get one that's exactly two inches, then one is 2.07, .2 and it'll still work in there. The main thing is is your width and your height and your um, and your spline count. So on the next thing that's pretty important is your width. The width on the stem, we go by the base, which is the very bottom down here. So we'll measure that, and they call that a three-quarter. Now, you can see that it does not measure three-quarter. It's just a hair short of three-quarter. Um, on these stems, they're not going to have a whole bunch of different ones. They're not going to have one that's like 0.77 and 0.26 and all this other good stuff. They're going to either have one that measures out three-quarter, this one will measure out just a hair under three-quarter. We're still going to call that a three-quarter. This one measures out almost at one inch. It is pretty close. It's 0.92, I think is what they call it, or 925, something like that. It's measures out 0.93 I believe on my calipers but mine are just plastic so they're not super accurate but anyway um, that's the difference on a lot of those they do make one that is um, a 5 8 um, it's going to measure a little bit smaller it's going to be pretty much right in there on the width so that's, that's going to be a three main groups you're going to have one that's 5 8 one is three quarters and one that's pretty much one inch um, so other than that, you're not going to have 
too many more odd sizes. Okay, the next thing is um, hot and cold. Now, most of these manufacturers, if you'll notice, there's little notches cut out on this top edge right here. You can see it right on the corners. There's like a little notch cut there and a notch cut there all the way around it. That's to identify this. This stem is a cold stem. Now, a cold stem will shut off. You can see it's open. It's open um, right now. So to close it, it's actually going to close counterclockwise on a cold stem. A hot stem is going to close clockwise. It's going to close just the opposite. It's open now. And you can see I'm going to turn it clockwise. And it's going to be closed. The clothes, what you can see down here in the bottom, you can see the ceramic disc. It's actually got um, two of them in it rubbed together. A little hard to focus on that. But anyway, um, the next most important thing when you're uh, trying to identify your stem is if you have a escutcheon ring or not. The escutcheon ring is the little piece that's above the base right here, which is this little piece right here. It has the threads on it right there. Now, pretty much almost every single one that we sell, they're going to be the same size, which is pretty common for just about every stem with your escutcheon ring. And it's going to measure out right at 0.92. Okay? Now, you can see this stem is totally different from this big giant stem that's right next to it. But the escutcheon ring is going to measure out get this thing to focus um, just to, right at 0.92 so they're all gonna they're gonna use the same they're gonna use the same uh, machine to actually cut the threads on this right here and they're all gonna be fine thread so pretty much all the escutcheons are gonna interchange um, just the length of the escutcheon makes the big difference so um, the next important thing is your um, type of thread that you have. The type of thread, um, most of the time you're gonna see, you can see how this is, this is pretty coarse. That's a coarse thread. This is a fine thread. Now both of these are three quarter inch stems, but you can see the difference in coarse thread and fine thread. Um, if you don't have a thread gauge, which 99% of the people out there aren't going to have a thread gauge, you'll be able to tell if yours are coarse thread or fine thread by basically looking at this video. You can see that the um, there's almost twice as many threads on the fine thread versus the coarse thread. Um, that pretty much about sums it up. Um, there's not a whole lot to these. Most of the time, you can identify them by spline count. And length you can go by both of those on our website and by the um, the width on the stem if yours is one inch wide or three quarter inch wide or five eighths wide um, there's gonna be one also I forgot about it it's like 11 sixteenths which is gonna be uh, pretty uncommon it's gonna be mostly on the import stuff it's gonna be a 20 spline stem um, that's pretty much the only ones I've ever seen the 11 sixteenths on. They do make a metric thread too. So if you know if your faucet is an import type faucet, um, you're going to have some kind of a funky little thread like this right here. It's not going to be quite that coarse, but it's going to be um, a little bit kind of in between these two right here. But it's kind of a, a guessing game unless you can actually physically get all the 100% of the measurements. Other than that, um, if you have any questions or any problems or anything like that, you can definitely contact us at faucetpartsplus at yahoo.com. Or you can give us a call anytime um, during normal business hours. The best way is to send a picture. Go ahead and make sure you have all the measurements as discussed. And... Um, 
email it to us and we can definitely identify it for us if you can't figure it out the first time. Thank you. Have a great day.